Hey guys. Oh, what's that smell? You know, like that's the smell of fear, Velma. Fear! As well as fish, rotten eggs, stale rice, and uh, I do believe tarragon. Has anyone seen Daphne? It sounded like it was coming from the temple. This looks like a bell you'd find in a temple. Maybe that's where Zentuo is hidden. This is a counterweight used in emergency stairs. Maybe those stairs lead to Zentuo's hideout. This is a pakwa, an important symbol in Taoism. It could be a key to some hidden secret. Hey everybody, it's me, Beta Smasher 4. Welcome to another episode of Scooby Doo Unmasked. Last time we rescued Shaggy from the sewers. Thank goodness for that because we need some medals. This time we're gonna have to rescue Daphne. She's coming straight from the temple. But before we do all that, we have some things to collect before we get to the temple. Of course, our overworld map has a couple of things that we've probably already seen, but here we are. The golden token. Dooby, dooby, doo. So this is actually going to be giving you an upgrade of the Kung Fu costume. Kind of cool. So there's one more thing to get. Before we enter the Shaggy, because we need some help, please. That's actually the only way to get it, so make sure you be careful about the platforming tactic. Like you have to be on the railing and then you're able to just jump up there. Otherwise, you are not going to be making it. Alright. I'm just going to be just smashing A. Speeding all this up. There we go. And we're about halfway through. And look, we already have our second row. So that will be going... Into the temple now. Three clues, four ingredients, one trap piece. This is hands down one of my favorite songs. Oh no! Freaking listen. Um, that was a. Alright, you know what? Sure. So if you notice there was a platform that was glitched out, I'll slow-mo it and just pay attention. I'll put a freaking... Oh my god, dude. Never mind. Oh, I'm just gonna put a glitch on Oh no! Well, speaking of glitches... <sighs> this game, I swear. I try to be nice, but you know what? This game just... It has problems. I know I said it was going to be the best scooby -Doo game, but my goodness gracious. So if you haven't figured it out already, the whole concept of it is beating up those gongs. And those gongs are going to get our pieces to complete the level. And also we add a new thing we have to try to worry about. So if you're going to get on here, you can fling up and down if you want. The problem is if you just press A, you're not going to catch the other one on the other side. You have to press A and then hold it again. See how watch. I'll just press it. Nothing. And now, to hold it. I think this is the stupidest decision that they ever did. If Scooby was able to just grab onto it before, why, uh, uh, hi ninja. Um, if you're able to grab on it before, why is it a problem to grab the other one? Like, shouldn't we just been able to just, you know, grab it? <laughs> Not having to worry about all that? The yeah, developers were really pushing their luck on that jump. That jump in particular. There's three spiders here, Jesus. I think there's a nice shortcut. 
before him, right? Nope, they thought of that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> of course, they actually thought of that for once. Usually, I had like boundaries open in this game, but that's not for that. Okay, so there's that is a hole over there. It's supposed to be showing a clue, but it's not. For some weird the choice decision. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna be just keep on going. And just all this trial down. This is exactly where I was like trying to go to maybe see if there was a shortcut, but there's not. Because like that, we already have two of the freaking four ingredients, but we yet to find a clue in trap piece. You wouldn't be able to find it in this early, or at least the trap piece and the clues. But you always find half the ingredients this early. You do have to understand that there's only two clues, and they're practically identical to how they were hidden. It's kind of lame. <laughs> lame is a good word I'm using. Any air? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Hi. Splash. Just slide down. Catch us, Angel. Oh. We didn't catch. All right, Ninja. I'm, a, I'm uh, okay. <laughs> I kind of wanted the mother, but you know what, Scooby, that's fine. You don't want the mother. I have no choice but to respect your boundaries. Come on. Get up there! Scooby? Damn it. Okay. Anyway, we need to be over here anyway. Just gonna to get the clue. Freaking labs. Oh. Yeah. If you jump in those trees too early, they're gonna be hollow. Because they're dropping leaves down. No, it's kinda lame, but... I said lame a lot in this episode, jeez. Okay, but seriously, how do I... How can I get up there if I... What? Um... I... I... What? Okay. Okay, we'll just do that. I don't know what else to do. Like I was actually just stuck. It was that is that had to not be planned at all. I'll just just destroy it. I ain't gonna. No. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what you're supposed to do is get on this and not fall off. But apparently, if you fall off, you can't get back up there. If you can, I don't know how. Randomly last. Alright. Final area of this level. I know I'm kind of just speed pacing this, but. That was pretty short. Like I said, in comparison to the sewer, it's night and day of how, like, short and simple this is. And it also has, like, one of the best soundtracks. Just give it a listen. Like the Chinatown vibe to it, you kind of just, you know, you feel that groove, that Chinese, that Chinese groove. That's not supposed to sound racist at all. I deserve that. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. All right, another ninja. <laughs> Jump. Whoa! Okay, that was kind of unfair. Not gonna lie to you. That was unfair, right? Like, I couldn't even see that. Hi, bats. I don't even think you were supposed to be there, but you were. Completely identical hidden as the first one. 
<laughs> it looks like a freaking menu. The Chinese menu. Oh goody, oh goody. You want the cup out chicken? Ah! That's actually an experience I had. I did not know they'd actually say compound chicken like that until I actually got on the phone with Chinatown. I know it's kind of weird, but or like the Chinese high buffet. This is a local um, Chinese place, and it just they actually talk like that. And I know it's a little rude, but I have not heard a an Asian like actually speak fluent English like it's with with having a chance to speak Chinese. Once you speak Chinese, you cannot speak any sort of perfect English. It sucks. I feel bad for them. This is probably my most offensive episode, but I'm telling you, it's... Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll just shut my mouth. How about that? We'll just move on. I'm not supposed to be... Brad talking about rats! Look, I get it. I was rude. Okay? Alright, rats, you don't need to... You don't need to offend me. And hit me. All three trap pieces here. And then that's once again. He just becomes a Tasmanian double. More reasons why Scooby Doo on Mass has a lot of potential in speed running. He didn't have to return all the way back now. Oh, that for the freaking trap keep, I know. Kinda uh, dumb. Alright, so now we only have to worry about uh, two ingredients, which are right at the end, pretty much. But we're still missing a clue? I know, but the clue is actually at the final door. Like, right before you actually rescue Daphne. It's kinda convenient. <laughs> And the reason for that is, like, you can't get to the next level, the final level in this world, without it. <laughs> so, just, just try to focus on getting that. I know there's a Scooby Snack right there, but there's, there's plenty of Scooby Snacks up here. I don't need to restart myself. There we go. So I got as much mother as I can. I think the limit I need is like the minimum I need is like 270 something. I'll be kind of nuts. Hi, Red Ninja. There we go. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah. There's that box. Perfect. 275. Just got it. Let's go. All right. And a carrot for your eyes. If you don't want glasses, eat carrots. <laughs> I don't. Like, you don't have to eat carrots, you can just get glasses. <laughs> oh boy. Well, maybe it's something else that I don't, I'm not really fully comprehending what it is. Alright, here we go. Red Ninja, right at the end. We are at the end now, but we're still missing an ingredient. Oh no. There's an onion. <laughs> there we go. We have completed everything in this level. I know it's weird without the last clue. We don't even need mother. So now the alt kung fu actually adds a move. So if you notice, if you're gonna try to speedrun this game, don't get this ability. I repeat, do not get this ability. Because remember when I was saying like you had to jump and then press B in midair, you move that quick? If you press A and B as this Kung Fu, you do that. And that's about the mobility you, you need. I mean, you can pretty much just summon an earthquake at will by doing that technique. But you still have the little shimmy. 
Hit me for good luck. Here we go. So, they could hurt their own partner? Okay! I didn't know that. I'm going to assume that's a glitch, and I don't think that is actually a- HOW?! How is that fair?! Coward? How is that- oh my god. Just- Stop! Pete's safe. I do again. I do can take your face. Alright. Just hitting more gongs at this point. So, and then when you're going up through the getting Daphne, it's pretty stale of like what the last thing you're gonna have to do. It's <laughs> Kind of funny on how we rescue Daphne. <laughs> so. You don't have to be on that first platform. You can just jump into that one. Kung Fu Man. Dead. Kung Fu Man. Dead. Kung Fu Man. Dead. Blue, Kung Fu Man, dead, Kung Fu Man, not, you can actually just ignore that last step, you can ignore the first and last step. <laughs> I wonder if I could get a suit like that. You don't want this one, <laughs> you want the other one. You want the, you want the downgrade because you're gonna move like crazy. Anywho, next time on Scooby-Doo Unmasked, we are actually going to solve the mystery of Zen 2-0. See you guys next time.